Hi, I'm Scott Lowen with Zeiss Industrial Metrology. The topic for this tutorial will be an overview and general navigation of PiWeb Monitor. As an introduction, PiWeb Monitor is one of three PiWeb applications used to view measurement data on reports previously created with PiWeb Designer. To begin, I will launch PiWeb Monitor from my desktop icon. I am greeted with the start menu where I can open a report from a folder, pick recently used reports, or select one of the generic reports available from this list. I'll start by viewing the metal part report. If your report has a menu, you can navigate to pages of interest through this page. You can also index to the next or previous pages, or enter a specific page number, or navigate through the entire report from this selection option. If there is an area of interest, you can zoom and pan to view this detail. On the left we have the option of selecting specific measurement data. Your options may be different as these are defined in the report with PyWeb Designer. PyWeb Monitor users are able to define the number of the past measurements to view. You can also select measurements by date or by measurement attribute. You can also select measurements by a direct selection. Here you have a significant control for the data mining. Users can filter data by other attributes, like batch. If a specific attribute is not listed, you can modify this list under this icon and configure the measurement selection. Here I'll add an attribute for cavity and push it higher in the list. It's now available to filter. However, if I want to make this a permanent change, I need to edit the report with PyWeb Designer. PyWeb Monitor users can also group data by different attributes. In this example, I'll group data by batch. With the control key, I can get additional information from these objects. This is telling me that batch 6 with 169 samples has the largest range with 160 microns. For touch screens, where the control key is hard to find, you can also access the info mode under tools. So we've been viewing a report that has a database bound to a specific model. We sometimes call these part stories. Another type of report is a generic report. With generic reports, we can populate these by selecting specific characteristics from one plan or combine multiple plans. On this aerospace part, I can also demonstrate advanced sorting options, for example, tolerance usage, and my report is reordered by this selection. Of course, I always have my measurement selection options. Here, a first article report is meaningless without specifying the machine center. And that concludes our tutorial on PyWeb Monitor.